excited. It's almost Christmas. Who else is excited? Let me hear you. Oh, come on. I can't hear you. Yes, I'm so excited that we're getting ready to celebrate Christmas this week. And Christmas means celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. All right, let's hit it. Hey everyone, I am so excited about Christmas and I'm even more excited to tell you about the story of the birth of Jesus. And I thought we could have a little fun with it today. So I invited a friend over to help me do a play. Hey guys. Here Miss Emma. Yay. Did you say we were going to do a play? Yeah, I thought we could, you know, we could act out, you know, the story. Oh. Miss Moni, I can't do a play. I'm not an actress, but I have these fun toys that could help us tell the story. Are you in? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, okay. let's do okay. it. Let's get started. Okay, cool. All right, so you got your script? Yes. Okay, so there was a young woman named Mary. <sighs> this can be our Mary. Okay. Isn't she so beautiful? She's beautiful. So Mary was just an ordinary girl living in a small, ordinary town. But God sent an angel to see her, and the angel told her that she would give birth to a son, Jesus, the Son of God. Whoa. And Mary was probably pretty freaked out and overwhelmed. But she chose to trust God, and just as the angel said, she became pregnant. So Mary and her husband Joseph, got got Joseph. prepared for the baby to arrive. Now, about this time, the Emperor Caesar Augustus Got him. made a law. <gasps> Here's what he said. Have... Hear ye, hear ye. I declare that everyone must go to their hometown to be counted for their census. That way we can make you pay lots of taxes, which all of the people love doing and feel honored to contribute. Truly, it's an honor to give all of your money to me. Good day. So, because of Caesar Augustus' law, Mary and Joseph would have to leave and travel a long distance to the town where Joseph's family was from, the little town of Bethlehem. Oh. All right, so this is gonna be our road. All right, so it was a very, very long road to Bethlehem, and the journey would have taken nearly a week. Are we there yet? So, now, long before all of this, the prophet Micah had predicted that the Savior would be born in Bethlehem. I'm the prophet Micah. The Lord says... Bethlehem, you might not be an important town in the nation of Judah, but out of you will come for me a ruler over Israel. So, thank you, Micah. Now, Bethlehem was a small, ordinary town. And when Mary and Joseph got there, you know, they couldn't find anywhere to stay. But see, God was ready for something amazing to happen there. So they went from house to house to find somewhere to stay. But because of the census, all the rooms were booked. Finally, we'll use this, Emma. Perfect. Finally, they found a place where the animals stay. And that's where they were going to go and stay. So it was about this time that the baby arrived. All right, so Mary and Joseph were there and the child was born. She gave birth to her first boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth. Then she placed him in a manger. Jesus was born. It wasn't fancy. It was a little smelly and it was probably pretty dirty. But they had a place to stay. And Mary gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God, the Savior for all of us. 
Aww, it's still such a good story, Emma. It's such a good story. I love it. Thank you for coming and helping me tell the story today. Thank you, Miss Money. It was always, it's always so much fun to do a story with you. Aww. Happy, happy holidays and Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas, my friends. So, in the most unexpected place at the most unexpected time, God gave us the greatest gift. He gave us His Son to come and rescue us. See, God loved us so much, He sent us a Savior, His Son, Jesus, so that He would one day grow up and die on a cross to save all of us. See, friends, this week's a really special week. We get to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We get to celebrate the most important gift ever given to the entire world by God, a Savior. So, you know, for Christmas time, it's different for everybody. For some people, there's lots of food, and it's noisy, and it's loud. And for others, it's a little bit quieter and softer and not quite so, you know, crazy. But no matter what, no matter how you celebrate or where you celebrate or who you're with, take the time to remember exactly why we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate the greatest gift, Jesus. We celebrate how much God loved us that he gave us his one and only son so that we could have joy and peace and hope. That's what I want you to take the time to remember this year at Christmas. So from all of us here at Kid City and from the very bottom of my heart, we want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Before you leave, if you allow for me to give you a gift of doing prayer together before Christmas. So close your eyes, open your ears, and open your heart. Father God, we are so blessed to have you love us so much that you do the most unexpected things at the most unexpected moments that are truly amazing, like giving us the gift of your son, Jesus. Thank you for your boundless love. And Father God, we know we can trust you no matter what, because you always keep your promises. We thank you. And in Jesus' name, we all say from the bottom of our hearts, amen. All right, my friends, I love you all very much. See you later.